Okay, so you want to convert an Excel document into a Word document. Your first step is to select all of the data in Excel that you want to convert into a Word document. So I'm going to select this table here, and then I'm going to copy it. Now to copy it, you can go to the Home tab on the ribbon and use this button here, or you can use this shortcut key, Control-C. Then you need to open up Word with either a blank document or a document that you want to import this Excel data into. So I've got a blank Word document. Now essentially you need to paste the data that you copied in your Excel document. And you can do that by clicking on this button here, the Paste button. And again, it's on the Home tab of the ribbon. Now when you do that, it might not paste in exactly as it appeared in Excel but you do have some options down here. Now this button will always appear at the bottom right of the paste area. And if you click on it, you'll see that there's a number of paste options. So the default is to keep source formatting. So you can see it's retained the formatting that we had applied to this data in Excel. The second option is use destination styles. So whatever styles are formatting, you've already set up in your Word document will be automatically applied to this Excel data. The third option links the data to Excel and keeps the source formatting. Now what this means is that if I changed one of these numbers in Excel, it would automatically update the copy of this data in your Word document. The next option is picture. That literally creates a picture from the data. So it can't be changed, it can't be edited, it's just a picture. And the last option is keep text only. So we lose a lot of the formatting and the structure that we had in our Excel document if we choose that option. Now I'm just going to delete this copy of the data because there are some more options. Now, when we paste the data into Word, instead of using this paste button here, go to the paste menu, and there's an option here called paste special. Now, using this dialog box, we can paste the Excel data into our Word document as an Excel worksheet object. And you'll see that there's a number of advantages of using this option. So I'm gonna select Microsoft Excel worksheet object. Now we have the option to either just do a straightforward paste or paste a link. So if you want your Word document to automatically update when you change your Excel document, you need to choose paste link. I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna go for paste. I'm gonna click on okay. And it pastes the Excel data into Word. But if I double click in this data, you'll see that it actually opens up an Excel spreadsheet within your Word document. And although we're still in Word, the ribbon actually has all the commands and buttons that Excel has. So we could go in and add more formulas, add more formatting, or anything we could normally do in Excel, we can now do in Word. Now, once you've finished your edit within the Excel data, you would just click outside it, and then the ribbon reverts back to all the commands and buttons you normally get in Word. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.